if I make this bar, I am the Olympic gold medalist. But if I miss it, I am what the Olympians call the first place loser, which is fourth place. So I lean back and I power towards the bar and I clear it. Now this time I'm gonna stay in the air like three times as long. And I clear it, head, shoulders, back, hamstrings, calves, and I look up just for a second to make sure that the bar is still up. Guess what? It's still up. So I'm looking, I'm like, yes! I celebrate in the air just a little bit. I put my head back and complete my jump. And then, and the bar wiggled and it wobbled. And then one side fell and then the other. And I looked at my husband and he said, it's all right. I said, no, it's not. <laughs> but never once when I was competing did I think that I should cheat, that I should take a shortcut, that I should find a way to cheat the system so that I could win. Taking steroids was never an option for me. So while it was disappointing, I had to accept the outcome. Fourth was the best that I could do. See, in that time period, even though it hurt, I was proud of what I was able to accomplish because I had done it the right way. My integrity was intact, and I didn't have any type of guilt or frustration from being compromised. See, it's so hard to gain a good name. It's something that has to be earned through trust and resilience and proof of a long-standing commitment towards integrity. But it takes nothing but a second, just like that bar that came off to lose it all. And so for me, it was really important to do the right thing. When you think about your business and you think about your clients, it's important to do the right thing. See, I like to say that what happens in the dark eventually comes to light. I was just sitting on my phone in between my lunch break and I receive a call. Bing, bing, bing. Congratulations, Olympic medalist. What are you guys talking about? You guys are awful. You are trolls and you are mean. You guys saw me lose in front of the whole world and now you're going to taunt me? And so I keep getting this message and it wasn't until somebody sent me a link that I understood what happened. This is 2016. In 2008, when I had competed in that Olympic Games in the rain with a nursing one-year-old and placed sixth place, there were three women who competed in front of me who had cheated. And I, it was determined that the Olympic medal would be reallocated to me. So they took me to California along with my family at this amazing red carpeted event. They take this medal right here and they hand it to my three-year-old son who hands it to my five-year-old daughter, who gives it to my nine-year-old daughter, who gives it to my fine husband. But gives it to some guy named Mr. Pogues, and they place it around my neck. And in that moment, I felt it. That goal of achievement that I had from the age of four, I finally felt it, and I celebrated. 